Well, I'm doing pretty bad right now, cause, but you know what? I won the fan favorite. That's pretty amazing. Are you? I mean, I'm going to be one of the fans that's going to be, that's going to go out on a limb and say this. I hated Joe Guts. All right. Uh, when it, uh, and, but that's exactly. Oh yeah. What they, you want. Oh, they also uh, uh, Russell got screwed. Com. It's already up. Yeah. Check it out. But yeah. But then, <laughs> like you said, everybody changed like three or four or five weeks into the time, and you know, you started turning the game on. You started making what Survivor was is all about. Yeah. The funny thing is, I, I probably went from. You know, a Johnny Fairplay that more, even more hated than Johnny Fairplay, to maybe even more loved than Rupert. How can you do that in one season? How is that possible? I, I don't know. Jeff would tell me. He said, you know, he said it's like you could be cocky and charming at the same time. And I, I don't know if that's it. I think it's, uh, I think it's my southern, uh, you know, southern charm. I guess you could say. So the question I have for you is, way back on the first day, you made comments about how you were a fireman in Hurricane Katrina, and when I interviewed Marisa, she was infuriated about that remark. Are you catching flack for that still? You know what? Uh, I go to the LSU game all the time in Baton Rouge, where they were affected in New Orleans. I got best friends that that happened to. They lost everything, and they love it. Because they said, it, at first, I regretted the statement of saying, the story about Katrina at first when I seen it and then after I talked to people that actually were in Katrina they said that they were thanking me for bringing it back because people forget about things I didn't say anything that the story that I told happened to my best friend's brother that happened to him I asked his permission to tell the story that people found out you had a couple million dollars a year, they must have realized that didn't happen to you. Did anyone confront you about it? What? It, confront, did, confront you about making the whole thing about New Orleans up while you were out there? Did, any, did anyone say you were lying about that? Nobody said anything. And that's, that's how easy it was to manipulate these people. They were easy to manipulate. They, they really sucked, all of them. So why did you lose? I lost because I was with a bunch of weak-minded people. And and it proves that fact because you see how I controlled them? If I told them to get here, get over here, you know? And then when they found out that that uh, I'm mad at them, they start shaking. They start getting nervous. So uh, that's because I had them so controlled because they're so weak. And that's kind of like a double-edged sword because, because when that weak person gets to the jury, they'll never vote for you because they're weak-minded people already. They're, they're forgetting exactly why that they were on the game in the first place. I mean, that's why I equate everything to the Richard Hatch rule of survivor play. You played everything the way it was supposed to have been played, and yet you didn't get the credit for having done it. You just got backhanded saying, oh, he's just, you know, a liar back and stab. Is this what you are in real life? Is this what you do? Right. I mean, you know, hat, hat, hats off to you. Yeah, well, thank you, because mm -hmm. I gave my heart and soul. When they... Uh, you know, I had a strong feeling I wasn't going to win, win because when when did you have a strong feeling? When I stepped walking down the jury, when I walked off the jury, because I was like, well, you know what? That's why I'm good at the game because I can read how you talk to me. I can read how you talk to somebody else. And when I seen how they was talking to Natalie, how they were talking to me, I was like, you got to be kidding me! It was hurting me in the stomach. And when they told me, and then I still knew. That's why I created a, a, a website, RussellGotScrewed.com, because I knew. And do you know what? RussellGotScrewed.com? RussellGotScrewed.com. I do have one other question. Advice to a future player? Uh, jump on the strong guy. Play the social game, because you'll win every time. You'll win every time playing the social game. You, but you know what? If you get there, you're lucky. I'm not lucky. I'm not lucky, because I played the game. You, if you play that social game, you gotta, you gotta, you know, make sure that that your luck is running good because that's the only thing that's gonna get you to the top.